Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was about to say happy Saturday, but I think actually this will go up on a Thursday. So happy Thursday. It is Saturday today. Lauren and I are heading into Glasgow. We've got an afternoon tea, a festive afternoon tea, and we're going ice skating. So I thought it would be a cute day to vlog in the spirit of Vlogmas, but I just need to I've got about 10 minutes and I need to get ready. But obviously I thought I'll slow that process down because I'll film it. Um, so I have used this already. This is the Laura Mercy hydrating primer and I'm going to use this which is a little sample of the Guerlain Poirot Gold Matte I think it's called or Poirot Gold I can't remember how it's spelt I'll link it up down below but I got a little sample of this and this is the shade 00N the neutral one I've as you can see got quite a lot of red in my skin but if you actually look at my neck and trying to match my face to my neck my neck's much more neutral so um, I have high hopes for this, I'm quite excited for it and I thought I would put it on on camera, let you guys see it and then we'll be vlogging the day so we'll see how it wears. So I am trying to do extra videos for Vlogmas last year, I managed every single day, definitely not managing that this year but I'm going to try to put up a video every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday at least and anything else I can manage on top of that as well. I really really like vlogmas, I really like watching little festive days out and all that kind of stuff so I do like to participate in it in terms of both putting content up um, and watching it but I do work full time, have a normal job, my job is not to create YouTube content so uh, unfortunately it just has to kind of work around that last year although I was working full time because of the way things had worked out I had like loads and loads of annual leave I could take days off I could go on little trips that I could vlog and whatever whereas I've just I've had actual holidays this year as such so I've not hit this time of year and been like oh I've got loads of annual leave left to take I'll use it for taking time off to film for vlogmas and whatever so yeah there'll be less content this year than last year but I am aiming for Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays plus whatever else I can make for you in addition to that. But I think today will be a really, really cute day and then next Saturday we're going out for lunch and then we're going to see Elf at the Hydro, which I'm so excited about. I'm such a child. We actually went to see Nativity on Thursday. I was going to vlog that, but we went straight from work. We just ended up getting a Subway salad for dinner. It really wasn't all that interesting as such. But yeah, we went to see Nativity, which was super cute. Somebody from Lauren's work's um, child was in the cast, but it's one of my favourite films. I have a huge crush on Martin Freeman in Nativity, like on the character, not on the actor. Um, I just, oh, I love Paul Madden's so much. But yeah, that was absolutely lovely. But we were like the only old, old people, you know what I mean? The only adults in the audience not accompanied by children. And I feel that Elf is going to be a bit of a repeat of that. That's my, my instinct. Anyway, that is that foundation on. I do feel like my face is still definitely darker than my neck so I don't know I might see they do have a 00c cool um 00c cool of course it's cool they do have a 00c color which I might ask them for a sample of because I quite like you know the finish and the coverage etc but yeah I feel like this is not um it is not blending with one's neck or hands It'll be fine though, I think. By the time I get the rest of my makeup on and whatever, it will be fine. And I quite like the actual... the finish of it on my skin and whatever. Although it's a matte foundation, it's quite luminous, I would say. I don't know if it's... It's not matte in that traditional sense, but... And I quite... I do... I like the coverage. You know, I feel like it's... If it was the right colour, it would have really evened my skin out. Um, but it doesn't look too heavy or anything. So I have taken the foundation down my neck a little bit just to even it out. I don't really like doing that, especially wearing like a black jumper because I feel like get it here. Um, but yeah, I did. I did. I felt I needed to take it down my neck a bit. Um, so I put on my Beauty Pie Corrector and NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I am going to powder. So touching my face, and it's not super tacky. Um, but I don't know if you can see that, there is a bit of transfer, so I am going to powder it down. For powder, I'm using this one from Becca, which you won't be able to get, um, because Becca is no more. But anyway, that is my skin coming very close with the foundation, and then this is the Becca, um, I think this was called the Zero Powder. 
this one from Becca, which you wouldn't be able to get. But yeah, that is the, the finish of my base. Super basic eye look today by Terry, Ombre Black Star in the shade number three, Blonde Opal. I'm going to put that all over the lid and just buff it out. Oh, I think it's broken. It's not um, moving back down. Yes, it has broken. Wonderful. Had it for forever, so I don't suppose I can really moan. It doesn't feel too dried up when I'm actually using it. And then I'm taking my number seven shadow from my 12 Pants of Christmas project pan. And I'm just going to use my finger with that to pat that over the top. So it'll warm that blonde opal up just slightly. So that is that eye with the eyeshadow on top. That eye without the eyeshadow on top. So not a huge difference, but just a, a slight warmth used my Hourglass Caution Mascara. Now, if you guys remember, I had the full size of this last year, loved it, and I still really like it on the lashes, and once it's on, it really doesn't transfer. Um, I actually wore this for my work Christmas night out last week, came home absolutely just face planted my bed. I was so tired. I'm not made for going out till like stupid o'clock in the morning. I was also a little bit tipsy. And I woke up in the morning and my eyelashes Everything else was a way to pop, but my eyelashes were intact. Um, so it really doesn't move and it doesn't smudge on me when I put it on. But I don't know if the other one I had had maybe, I'd had it for longer, it'd been sitting for me to get round to it. If it had maybe dried out a little bit in the tube, because I feel like this is messier to apply than I remember the other one being. This is a wetter formula, you know, I'm finding like if I put it on and then I blink, I'm getting, you can see like it's transferred a little bit to my lower lashes there. Um, and it had transferred a little bit and then I clean it up. But once I clean it up and it's set, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't transfer thereafter, but it's messier to put on than I remember. Blush is the Hourglass one from this palette that I said I was putting away after hitting pan uh, on the, the pink one in my project pan and was like, I'm gonna use some of my other ones. And I'm like, no, I'll just keep using that palette. <laughs> I was supposed to be putting it away, but I want quite a pink cheeked look today because I am wearing, as you can see, my fairy tale of New York black jumper. I'm wearing a black Joni skirt and I'm going to wear uh, black ankle boots. So the colour in my outfit, I'm going to wear a burgundy coat. So I will put that on and then pick my lipstick once I've got that on. So other than my lipstick, that is my face done, more or less. So now for the fringe. The fringe. So I did curl and pin my hair last night and I've let it down and I have um, hair sprayed it to try and keep the curl in. But, so you know how I was saying, obviously, like, when I put my fringe back, eh, even just to, like, do my makeup or whatever, it then, like, kinks and whatever. I've also, I've had this um, pulled back, so it's worse than usual just now. And then I need to sort of reshape it. Now I look like a who. We'll just put that back. <laughs> anyway. And somebody had said, like, if you just wet it, then you can, you know, you can blow dry it. But obviously, if I've got my full face makeup on, I don't really want to risk wetting my hair in case I start wetting my face. But I have rediscovered this. This is the GHD Rise Hot Brush. So this is actually my grand's, it's not mine. Her hair is much shorter than mine, so she uses this just to actually like brush it out and give her hair volume and shape. When she uses it, she's not somebody who does her hair on the daily, but if she was going out, that's what she would use this for. I wouldn't use it through the length of my hair. I have seen an advert where the model is using it to get full on curls in her hair with this, but I mean, you could do it, but it's just so much quicker to use a wand or whatever. I wouldn't use this for that, but I'm absolutely loving this for my fringe. Obviously, it'd be quite an expensive thing to buy if you were only gonna use it for your fringe, but if you also have made a life commitment to having a fringe, could be worth it. Um, so yeah, let me plug this in. Whilst it's heating up, um, I will get my hair back and spray myself with the L'Oreal Fixing Spray. That's the sound of it being ready. Brushing that forward, take, this is the Mark Hill's just like a white tooth comb through the rest of my hair just to Make sure it's not all like separated into the curls that it's been uh, pinned in overnight. Basically, I felt like when I was actually like straightening it. It was just kind of lying really sort of straw-like on my fringe, eh, on my face rather. So I feel like this is a way of making it have a bit of body. 
and like bringing it forward without it being like like straight flat like straw. This is my coat. Forgive the fact that my mirror desperately needs cleaned. I feel like the brown bag kind of actually tones in with coat better. Basically, basically the perfect bag for me to wear today would be my coach bag, but it's in the loft. Of course it is. I need to, I need to get all, like these are the bags that I have down just now. I need to get the stuff in there sorted so they can go in and then get the other ones down. Um, but I don't have time to go up the loft just now to get it. So I feel like this one goes better with the coat. But I am wearing all black underneath the coat and I'm going to wear black boots. So I feel like this one maybe tones in better once I've put the boots on. God, that mirror is filthy. Tonight's task, come home, clean the mirror. It's not perfect, but I feel like it maybe once I put the black boots on and whatever, I feel like that's maybe the better bag overall. But I do feel like the, the Lulu Guinness one looks a bit better, but right, we're going with the Mulberry. That's what we're doing. There we have it. So lipstick wise, I've gone for Lisa Eldridge Velvet Jazz, which I feel is nice with this coat. I absolutely love this coat. This is one of my Christmas presents, but I've got it to wear just now. Ignore this chair. I am going to buy an actual chair at some point, but this needs sorted first. Um, so I've still got one of the dining room chairs making shift at the moment. A uh, Mulberry Darley, Darley Satchel from about 100 years ago. And I'm going to put black boots on. Time to go. We have just arrived at the Radisson Red. We've got this car driving home for Christmas with from Polar Bear. Nice big Christmas tree. Santa's inside. I didn't even notice that before. Polar bears in their Christmas tree. But yeah, we are going to the Sky Bar. So we have arrived for our afternoon tea and this is our view. So that is where we're going next Saturday to see Elf. I don't think I really explained earlier, so we booked this afternoon tea like through an it is on voucher and our grand plan was like, oh we'll book the afternoon tea the same day that we go to see Elf but they had no availability next week for when we're going to see Elf so that's why we're over here twice, once this week, once next week. Volunteer. Yeah. So it was a little bit of a disaster but we get two days out of it. Two days out, out of it. No so, complaints, and and because originally we didn't think we'd be able to do the Elf and Grove ice skating with the way things were kind of working out timing wise, but then because I moved Dublin to later, it meant we could go ice skating today. Before we ice skate, we think we need some cocktails, and I've just spotted that they've got an open fourteen on the the whiskey menu, and that's my favourite whiskey that I've had thus far. So might it might have that, but we'll see what cocktails. They might have a festive cocktail. No, I feel like this is just a general menu. We've got the cutest little mini hot chocolates and gin and lemonade. Our afternoon tea has arrived. I am very excited for this milkshake thing at the top. And we've got our mains and some sweets. We've also ordered sides of Halloween fries and dirty fries, which I'm very excited for. I've got a sausage roll and a turkey wrap thing and then Lauren's got vegetarian things at this end. Thanks. Thanks. This is where we are going. We're also going, if you can see over there, there's a, a big wheel. We're going on that too. But I think this is the, the ice rink. Yes, this is where we are going. Oh, it looks so festive. Might be going here afterwards to the cover.
done our ice skating and we're now waiting in the queue to go on the snow wheel. We're on the snow wheel. We've only just started going round and I'm already slightly regretting my life choices. We're not, we're, we're literally like, we've just got on and moved down to like stop it to like the next two on. It's gonna get a lot higher. I suppose the thing is when you're over there, you're on a platform, then you come down to it, so it's it's already like Wine. We're tempted by the Christmas cocktails, but we're sticking with mulled wine. Mulled wine has been secured. See that steam? That's what we need after a good ice skate and a, a trip up on the, on the big wheel. So we are back in Glasgow. So we're going to head down to George Square and see what the, the situation is down there. Hey guys, so it's nearly 11 o'clock at night. I ended up being out for far longer than planned today. So the lighting's obviously, it's, it's dark outside, so the lighting's not great for seeing colour. But I thought I would just show you, just before I sign off, this is what this foundation is looking like. I haven't touched up all day. I've touched my lipstick up, but I've not touched the rest of my face. I've not even repowdered. And I feel like my base is very much still in place for being like 12 hours, over 12 hours since I first applied it. And what I was saying at the start as well, it's the matte foundation. When I was first putting it on, I was like, oh, I feel like it's got a luminosity to it. I didn't think it was like super, super matte, but I am really oily. And usually by this point in the day, you can see it coming through a little bit on my forehead but nothing like as much as it usually would be. Although I don't feel like the finish is necessarily super matte, if that's what you were looking for, I do feel like it's got luminosity and life to it, which is, I think, what most people would prefer to super, super matte as a finish. It's definitely got mattifying properties because usually I would be a complete oil slick by now. So I am really impressed with this actually. I was having a look at the counter today so the sample that he's given me says 00N and then the next one says 01N. Now 00C is definitely, there's two zeros and then it's C whereas N actually just seems to have 0N then 01N so I feel like the 00 it's maybe just 0N if you were looking for it online or whatever. Yeah I'm definitely interested but I'm very very impressed by the fact that this is like basically 11 o'clock at night and I first put it on at 11 o'clock this morning and this is my face without touching up. I know, see this is it if the light's coming down onto it. So yeah, you can you can kind of see it as I said, like obviously this isn't a very practical angle to be filming from, but yeah, I'm really, really, can you guys see? Like I feel like the colour's not perfect. I think the cool colour would be better for me, but I'm just really impressed with the way that it has lasted and the way that my skin looks with it. So yeah, definitely I feel pretty safe. I've only worn it this one day. I've worn it with the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer underneath it and the Becca Zero Powder on top of it. So I've not tried it with other combinations or anything, but I feel quite confident recommending it. Like I'm certainly very interested in it. So I thought I would uh, share that with you before I sign off for the night. But I am going to leave this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We had such a lovely day. If you're based in Glasgow, I've heard really mixed reviews on Elfin Grove, but we had a lovely time. It was like busy enough that it felt, you know, there was like a good festive vibe to the place, but it didn't feel like absolutely rammed. Like you had loads of space to skate, etc. Really, really liked it. We had an afternoon tea before we went, so we didn't have food there, we just had a mulled wine. But they had like a full food menu and I'm actually trying to figure out if I could get back, not to skate again, but just to have food before 
it closes off for the season so yeah if you're around like we had a great time really really highly recommend it the ice was great we did the natural history museum in london last year lauren and i go to london between christmas and new year every year other than 2020 because covid cancelled it but um usually every year and so we've done various different we do an ice skate every year as part of our holiday and whatever so two years ago we had done on our 2019 christmas trip we did the natural history museum and it was lovely and that's one of my favorite museums and then that was closing last year so we decided to do it again rather than try a different one and it was an absolute shambles i it very much was the vibe of like this ice rink is closing because i think they're turning it into a garden or something which seems strange because i feel like it must have made a lot of money from that ice rink but anyway very much the vibe was like it's closing they did not care that it was more water than ice it was so dangerous people were falling all over the place it was awful and, and this ice was great like because we were a bit like oh we were feeling quite nervous because we booked Somerset House for our trip this year and we were a bit like last year was such a disaster because it's not something we do very regularly it was like I don't know how confident I feel about this but tonight was great. I feel like it's really restored my confidence before we hit Somerset House. So yeah, I honestly, my, my experience with Elfin Grove was that it was actually, it was so, so good. So I would really highly recommend it. But yeah, with that, I'm going to sign off for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Throughout the month of December, I'm going to try to get videos up every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully maybe some other bonus ones as well, fingers crossed. So do make sure to check back and I will see you in the next one. Bye.